Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we're looking at the second grade concept of personal financial literacy, specifically how we can save money and how it grows over time, and we'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So let's say you want to buy a new video game, and you've asked your parents and they said that they cannot buy it for you. It costs too much money because it costs $60. And they said, well, maybe you can save up your allowance and you can buy the new video game, but that doesn't seem very fun because you want the video game now, not later, and you don't think you'll ever be able to save up enough money for it. Well, I want to show you a way, a different uh, scenario that might happen that will help you understand that if you save up money over time, you will eventually get enough to buy something big like a video game. So let's say we are starting with zero money. We have no money at all. And we have an allowance of $2 a week. So every single week, you get $2 on Friday. For your allowance, you can spend it however you want to. Typically, you just spend it to buy soda or you buy some uh, Takis or some fun Funyuns. But now you want to see if you can save up your money for a new video game. Well, what we're going to do is I'm just going to put some... Make a little table. Now I'm just going to put week, then I'm going to put total. And let's just keep track of how much money we can have. So if we just have just your basic $2 a week, we could get there. It'll take a while. And so we can do $2 a week. So I'm going to put total money. So we're going to have $2. And then we're adding $2 each week, 4, 6, and 8. So if we keep going up that way, that's going to be 30 weeks before we get our money. But you know what? Sometimes we visit relatives, and sometimes they just happen to give us money, and that's kind of fun. So let's say right here at week 7, you visit your grandma. Your grandma knows that you are saving money, and she's pretty proud of you. So she gives you $20. So instead of 14 we're going to add an extra 20 And so that's going to make $34. So now you're over halfway there. So we're going to keep going. So we've got 34 And we've got 36 and here's another fun thing. I'm going to have to bring this over here to this side. Let me extend my table over here. If we keep going, what you might see is coming up in a certain week. So that's 38. Maybe in week 10, it's actually your birthday. So I'm going to put a big birthday right here. And your parents don't have enough money to buy you the entire game but they saw what your grandma did and they can give you an extra twenty dollars for your birthday rather than just a traditional gift so what we're going to do is we're going to say 40 because you still get your allowance and then we're going to say plus 20 and look at what you have now you have the 60 dollars so if you spent, if you saved your money and you only spent it when you had the full $60, if you didn't have any extra money here from your grandma, from your birthday, it would take a little bit longer. It could take 30 weeks. But saving money, even if it's just a little bit at a time, $2 a week, that will slowly build up to your money. But what you'll find is that there are often times that you can get other pieces of money. So maybe Instead of a birthday, maybe uh, you can mow someone's lawn and they'll give you $15. Maybe you can help a neighbor rake up his leaves and he'll give you $10. But if you are saving all of this money, so these are the extra amounts that we had. If you were saving all of these, these dollars and rather than spending them, you're saving them, eventually you can save everything up and you can reach your goal. In this case, it was the $60 video game. 